Hello, welcome back. This is another deep dive video into certain products that sell quite well and we're gonna do a bit of an investigation and check all the comps and you know, see what's what. Uh, so the product that we're doing today is mugs. <laughs> Specifically, Disney mugs, because if you go into pretty much any cherry shop or go into any car boot, you are bound to see some sort of, some form of Disney mug. And a lot of them are, aren't very valuable, but there's the odd like few that can go for good money. And I suppose it depends what you buy them for. If you're a reseller, everybody's picked up at least one Disney mug in their lifetime. They don't care what you say. I, I've got a couple of Disney mugs. I've got a Buzz Lightyear one, and I've got a Hercules one. It's probably my favorite at the moment. But uh, yeah, they really were the first kind of mugs that kind of did the big chunky kind of like free, like proper, what's it? So, mugs. It's a mugs life. <laughs> Let's do this. As ever with these uh, little deep dives that I do, I have certain parameters that I have to uh, put across to make it seem a little bit more fair. So, I put the condition of the mug, sorry. <laughs> I put the condition which is used. So like that, let's click over. Buy it now because that's how I sell. Um, and then, where is it? Ooh, let's go down. In the UK, I do the UK because it's just my primary market. You can do your own. So, first of all, I just put Disney mugs. And initially it comes up with this barrel mug. I see this one around all the time and it's not worth anything, but people, charity shops, seem to think it is. It's not. I think the last time I saw this, it was for a fiver in a shop in, in uh, Manchester. Yeah, weird. Uh, so Disney Parks, these are the ones that just come up with it initially. Now, but to get the most valuable ones, click highest price. Right, ooh, so this is interesting. £800 for Grumpy 3D Paris. Uh, oh, Disneyland Paris 3D. £800? Chip? With a chip? Oh my god. Okay, I think I smell money laundering. <laughs> Let's see. So you go and sold. You keep all the parameters the same. Highest price. Ah, now this is one that I saw and I didn't think it would be. It's the sketch mug. So look at that. So it's Marie from the Aristocats in a pink, normal pink mug. But it's got the sketches, so the outlines around it. I haven't had this one yet, but somebody sold it for £90. Good for them. Somebody sold it for £100. Good for them. Oh, there it is again, you see. So Aristocats, so the sketch mugs. Ooh, they seem to be ones to look out for. Let's just tag that. So here's our first Starbucks ones. I mean, they had like, look at that, Magic Kingdom. Yeah, so the Magic Kingdom uh, 50th anniversary pin drop. Look, there we go. Been their series. Pin drop order, the 50th anniversary of Disney World. So funnily enough, my next video on certain mugs is gonna be Starbucks mugs or coffee house mugs. Oh look, there it is again. There's ah, so we're seeing a theme now. We're seeing a theme. Sketches, the sketch ones, fabulous. Ah, uh, yeah. So oogie boogie, tall latte mugs, fifty quid. Royal Dalton, Kath Kidson. So these cross promotions, these joint ventures seem to be doing well, but there's four there, so they're only a tenner each. Oh, now that is cool. I like that one, that Finding Nemo one. Mine, mine. <laughs> That's cool. Sketch mug again, £40. Ooh. A Bambi sketch mug, £40. Oh, look at that, the Disney Revel, <laughs> that Disney Cinderella Castle birthday cake mug. Wow. Oh, there's our first Cheshire Cat. 
sketch mug. So you see what they mean by the sketch mug, look, they've got the outline and then all details around um, Disney Classic, you see. Look at that, Mary Poppins mug. Now that is cool. <laughs> I like that. Another Mary Poppins, the world's at your feet tall mug. Oh, another Mary Pop. oh. That might be an interesting one, 40 pound Mary Poppins. I've seen this one, but they wanted like a fiver for it. Ooh. Maybe I missed that. Ah, there's the couple more sketch mugs, Bambi. Put in the Tramp. 2008, uh, Lilo and Stitch. I was wondering when this would come up. Look, uh, the sketch Stitch and Angel. What's that one? Starbucks. There we go. Starbucks again. Oh, look at that metal one. Ooh. It all depends. Oh, now the. Oh, now look at this. Return to Oz. The Kiln Craft mugs. So I, I love uh, Return to Oz. TikTok is one of my favourites. Not TikTok, the, uh, the app. <laughs> the original TikTok. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, that's an interesting one. Ooh. Wow, look at that. Disney Parks Kingdom, uh, Animal Kingdom. Wood one, £30. You wouldn't, wouldn't think that's Disney. Grumpy, I hate mornings. There's another grumpy one. Ah, look, there's the Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog. I'm looking through all the... Ah, oh, there we go. These are the ones that I was... Like, was it... These apple ones, and they're like tankers, so they're like plastic essentially. So you lift it up, and then the ones. I think there's a red one. There's like red apple uh, ceramic. Looks tailspin. Ooh, ah, <laughs> oh, Chip and Dale. If you don't know, Chip and Dale are some of my favourite characters. If anything, I would go to Disneyland Paris just to meet Chip and Dale. They're my faves. And yes, I do like the new movie that they did. Uh, Whirly Happy Halloween. <laughs> See, the classic ones are the Winnie the Pooh. The Winnie the Pooh one. Okay, so just a quick like uh, run through about some of them. And it's not surprising. I mean, it all depends on what, what you pay for it. Like anything, it all depends on what you pay for it. Uh, the barrel mugs, the di I would avoid any sort of Winnie the Pooh ones, just off, as a rule of thumb. And I would prioritise Starbucks. So the Starbucks Disney ones, obviously, they're for the sketch ones. All sketch ones, apparently. Um, and anything Nightmare Before Christmassy. So there's lots of Nightmare Before Christmas ones. Apparently, Seven Dwarfs, chunky, kind of like travelly mug things. Dopey and Grumpy are the favourites. Ah, there it is. I found it. So the official Disney store, white poison 3D ceramic apple. That's like a, a favourite that I've been seeing. Oh, there's a really cool Sebastian one. But £25 for that. It's 25 So you're seeing them averaging around 25 So I'd say like the Bolo ones are definitely the sketch. The sketch ones, particularly the Marie one. The Marie from Aristocats, that's one I would have walked past mainly because you see Marie everywhere. Marie is everywhere. I think I've even got like a plush toy of Marie somewhere over there. But like, she's everywhere. There's only certain things that I pick up like when it comes to Aristocats, but like that sketch mug is like a collectible. So definitely keep an eye out for that one. Also, the Incredibles, I wouldn't have thought, because it's relatively new but an incredible mug, like it's a big like mug and it's like Incredible Dad on the inside, Mr. Incredible. That's very rare. That can go for over £100. Um, but yeah, the sketch ones, all good. And the um, Starbucks cross promotion, pretty decent. Uh, yeah, Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians sketch mugs, Simba sketch mug, which went, went, went for £50. The uh, Cheshire Cat went for £35. So yeah, we're seeing like a big kind of, oh, there's a gorgeous uh, Winnie the Pooh Halloween mug. Oh, 
these are really cool i'm gonna i'm gonna just take a picture look at this look at this uh halloween mug that is gorge yeah so i wouldn't necessarily write off all disney mugs but definitely do a little bit of research before you buy them but you can get things in sets now oh look baymax look at that baymax barrel mug oh i don't particularly like the barrel mugs either i think the barrel mugs are a bit kind of like uh, i like the big latte mugs the big chunky mugs uh, this is my buzz Lightyear mug it's got i broke the handle when i was moving but like it's 3d it's big and it's just big and chunky I, I love the big kind of 3D chunky mug. And this is my Hercules one. It's it's big and chunky. You know, you can get a lot in it and stuff. So the small ones, I'm a bit kind of like, uh, what about? <laughs> oh, look, there it is there's, uh, again. I think a good rule of thumb as well is like the weirder the better. Like there's a, there's a couple of tankards here that are weird. Oh, that's one that I would never think of. Disney Parks Pixar Look So Ball Mix. So that, I think that's a Toy Story, isn't it? Where it bounces, the ball bounces. That's twenty pound. The, these, the, in terms of these coffee morning cups, there's some morning cups where they're all sleepy and all like, like that. There's a mini one, the grumpy one, the dopey one. There's another one. I think there was. Oh, that's right, Tinkerbell. There's a Tinkerbell one, and it says mornings aren't magical. I kind of love that. Yeah. So. <laughs> They're all looking like basically hungover. It's been a tough night. <laughs> Don't be afraid to pay up if you know that there's a good sell-through rate. But like, they're everywhere. That's the thing about Disney. It's so mass produced, but just because it's Disney doesn't mean it's valuable. And I think charity shops just see Disney and think, ooh. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I know it's a brand and everything, but always do your research. I'm gonna end it there. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I'm gonna be doing hopefully a few more of these uh, deep dives. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.